Hey, uh, Mr. Parker here to review one from uh, Image Releasing. This is the Blu-ray release of Aftermath. Cover's kind of generic, you know, a lot of the movies like that have the just stupid little gas mask and things like that. And it kind of sells for some reason. People love gas masks. Even this scene on the back, I don't remember, recall happening with the gas mask on there. But essentially what we have here is a very, very, very bleak look into uh, nuclear or post-nuclear war. What happens is in Texas, these people are... Uh, you see this nuclear war uh, happen, all these bombs go off around the United States of America, and they kind of, they all end up uh, accumulating in this, uh, this cellar. And uh, there's a wide variety of characters, almost, uh, they have like these certain, some of them have certain things wrong with them that it almost seems like it's just, or they are certain things, certain backgrounds, so it, it almost seems too, uh, cinematic to be realistic on what uh, these people do. One's a doctor, uh, one has diabetes, uh, one's pregnant. The kid goes blind from the blast force. So it's like, it's almost like they set these things up, but uh, then again, uh, they can do whatever they want because they want to make an interesting set of characters to set up circumstances and reasoning and things like that. So uh, that's very forgivable. But uh, the movie is, like I said, very bleak. There doesn't seem to be any hope at all. Uh, there's a little bit of arguing, but for the most part, they get along, which I enjoy. I like that. Uh, but, of course, there's something else lurking outside. People that have been exposed to too much radiation and kind of have lost their minds. They're not zombies, but they are definitely violent and angry, and it kind of pits clan versus clan in this film. But uh, the first hour or so, you really don't see any uh, action. It's more so just a drama between all these characters and developing them and getting to know them. Uh, the biggest actor in here is Edward Furlong, and, uh, you know, honestly, I think he does a really good job, and uh, I caught myself pretty much... He's probably one of my favorite characters by the end of the film, if not my favorite. Uh, the whole film, like I said, is just kind of a, a drama, very bleak, depressing drama. Uh, the effects in here, all of them, except for the explosions, are practical effects. So when the action does happen, the gore and stuff like that, it's practical. It looks very good. Uh, and the ending. The ending is really what makes this movie. This movie is kind of like an hour of building up all these characters just to put them in horrible situation at the very end. And you kind of uh, enjoy it because these people have built this like tight-knit survival community with each other. And uh, it's sort of all coming to an end. The end climactic scene is uh, really dramatic but really uh, well done at the same time. In my opinion, I enjoyed it a lot. It kind of almost had like a western uh, feel to it, if that makes sense. A standoff type deal. And I wasn't expecting something that over the top and awesome. <laughs> In this film, uh, like I said, the ending is uh, is awesome. Uh, the whole, the very, very ending is awesome as well. But uh, at points, it's so uh, bleak. You're just like, really, you're gonna do that to him too? On top of this and on top of this. But all in all, I thought it was a pretty damn good drama film. And uh, the action, when it hits, it's there. It's really well done. And it's nice to see Edward Furlong do a pretty good movie. Uh, I give this a thumbs up. I'd say it's pretty enjoyable stuff here. I liked it. Uh, some people may not like it, and it's kind of a lot of people are getting tired of the infection, uh, the nuclear war, the apocalypse, and things like that. But uh, this one was, a, a, regardless, it is a good film. I enjoyed it. Uh, good action at the end, and I enjoy the fact that they took time to establish some of their characters, even though if they're just character types at points. Really enjoyed the character with diabetes, uh, the uh, Wendell. He was a very good character. Uh, felt bad for him end times. I don't want to give too much away. Felt bad for a lot of them, but uh, I give this a thumbs up. I say uh, it's really it's a cool film. Uh, don't be tricked. It's not a zombie film or anything like that. So people go out and you know buy the zombie movie or you know the gas mask everywhere in the film. It's not there. But uh, like I said. It is a good drama, bleak action film. Take care. Increasing hostilities recorded along the Afghanistan border. A 10 megaton explosion. How long do we have to stay down here? We are never getting out of here, honey. Fall out. It's the end of the world. Brad's gonna be a problem. Get off of me! What's the 
start nailing up the cellar doors shut. 